hello there. This is where you will go to create a copy of your own goal slides. Um, in week four, day two on slide 13, this is also in the week one slides, and there's also a copy in your canvas. You will click this link and you will click this and it will take you to something that says, would you like to make a copy? You'll say, make a copy. You'll wait for it to load. Then the first thing that you're going to do is write your name and rename this. So you're going to erase the copy of and you're going to say Public Alicia Goal Progress, right? So you'll come here and you'll write your first name. I'm going to write Mrs. Helbling. You want to keep that fall 2020 quarter one. On slide two, you'll see questions. What is your goal? How will you measure it? Is it challenging but not impossible? And why does this goal matter to you? And when are your checkpoints in completion? That's because our goals are going to be specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. So slide two is a reference for you. You're going to want to go to slide three and you're going to delete these words and type in your own. This is where you will write, my goal is, and then you're going to write your goal. And remember, your goal can be social, mental, or physical. Once you've filled out these questions, you're going to go to slide four, and you're going to rewrite your goal in sentence form. Once you have your goal picked out, and you have it specific and measurable, attainable, relevant, and timely, you're going to go to goal uh, slides five and six, and you're going to add some images that inspire you and remind you of your goal. You'll see examples of that in my, my examples. In goal or in slide seven, you're going to pick some different rewards that are quick, easy, and free that you're going to do right after you're done with your reward. So we have these ideas on the side, high five someone, happy dance stickers, maybe phone time, listening to your favorite song, taking a walk, a healthy snack, an episode of a TV show, self affirmations and compliments. I mean, just a reminder with those self affirmations, those are like, yeah, I did a great job. Great job, me. Those aren't like, I'm worthwhile finally, right? <laughs> Those are just focusing on the fact that you did a positive behavior and you want to do it again. Um, this bonus over here is maybe if you get all of your goal for a week, maybe you give yourself a little bigger treat. Um, here is where you um, note to yourself by moving an arrow to the target. If you wrote down your goal, have said it out loud, and have looked at images, um, you can do this slide like once a week or every day. Um, this is just to help you come up with strategies that are going to help you complete your goal. Slides 9, 10, 11 are all examples of ways that you can track your goal. You want to track your goal in these slides, um, but you can do that a number of ways. You can create a weekly tracker. Here's a daily tracker. And then on slide 11, here's some um, options for apps that you could download. If you use an app, you're gonna to wanna to take a screenshot and upload it into the slides here. Um, but sometimes people find that those are, are easier. For slide 12, this is where you are going to write in possible roadblocks. You are going to decide if they're internal or external. If they are one or the other, you're going to highlight and underline it and make it black so that we know what it is. You're going to write your roadblock in here. And then over here, you're going to write your if then statement. So my roadblock is um, I'm really tired in the evenings. So then, you know, if I get tired in the evenings, I'm going to change my goal time to the morning. Okay. Um, the last slide is for completion photos. That's where you're going to post images or photos of when you are done with your goal. Um, and that is basically all you need to do to create your goal.